Welcome back for some more examples on how to solve percent problems using the percent equation. Example one, a $750 watch is on sale for 15% off. We want to find the sale price. So the sale price is the unknown, so let's define our variable as S equals the sale price. And now we'll write the equation. So the sale price S is going to be equal to the original price of $750 and then minus the discount of 15%, which would be minus 15% of 750. So the sell price S is equal to 750 minus, to find 15% of 750, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. So 15% would be 0 0.15 and then times 750. So here's the original price minus the 15% discount. So we'll first find this product and then find the difference. So 0.15 times 750 equals 112.5. So we have 750 minus 112.5. So S is equal to 637.5. But this is really dollars, so we'll say the sale price is $637.50. Example two is a little bit more challenging. A salesperson tells you that the $140 earrings are already marked 20% off. What was the original price? So notice here our goal is to determine the original price so let's define the variable P for P equals the original price. Now the sale price of $140 was calculated by taking the original price P and subtracting 20% of P. And therefore our equation is going to be 140, the sale price, is equal to P, the original price, minus 20% of the original price, which would be minus 0.2 times P. Remember, 20% as a decimal would be 0 0.20, which simplifies to 0 0.2. Now to solve this equation, we want to first simplify the right side of the equation. So P is equal to 1P. Notice how we have two like terms. 1P minus 0.2P is equal to 0.8P. So we have 140 is equal to 0.8P. So to solve for P, we divide both sides by 0 0.8. Simplifying on the right, notice how this simplifies to one times P or P. And now we'll find the quotient on the left. We have 140 divided by 0 0.8, which equals 175. which means the original price was $175. Let's look at one more example. Tommy's grandma gave him a $50 gift card to Toys R Us for his birthday. Sales tax is currently 9%. Determine the price of the most expensive toy Tommy can buy with the $50 gift card. Now for this example, the unknown is the price of the most expensive toy that Tommy can buy so let's define our variable as P equals the price. Now to set up our equation, we need to recognize that the $50 gift card must cover both the price of the toy plus the tax. So the equation is going to be 50 equals P, the price of the toy, plus the tax, which would be 9% of the price. To find 9% of the price, we convert 9% to a decimal, which would be 0 0.09 and we multiply by the price, which is P. So again, the $50 is equal to, or must cover, the price of the toy plus the 9% tax of the toy. So solving for P, again, on the right side, we can combine like terms. We have 1P plus 0.09P. So we have 50 equals 1.09P. To solve for P, we divide both sides by 1.09. Simplifying on the right, this simplifies to 1P or P. And now we'll find this quotient, which is 50, divided by 1.09. Enter. 
we'll round to the nearest penny, or two decimal places, so P is going to be approximately 45.87. which means the most expensive toy Tommy can buy with his gift card, or more precisely with his $50 gift card, is $45.87. This is the most expensive toy he can purchase that when the tax is added, he can still pay for the entire gift with his $50 gift card. I hope you found this helpful.